Right. So, but you wouldn't not acknowledge that there are some systemic issues. Give, give me an example. G tell me what you think the most systemic racist issue is. What is it? Well, I would say that because black people in most cases, in many cases, were descendants of slaves, that racism as a as an institution, that it just, in a certain amount of it just exists. I, 2015? It, that give, give me the most blatant racist example you can come up with right now. Um, I think you could probably find evidence that in general, cops are, that, that cops are more willing to shoot if the uh, perpetrator is black what's your data than white. What's your basis for saying that? L last year... The well, look, I know a lot of people would say, look what's going on in Chicago. I, I, I know what they would say. Yeah. I'm talking about what the facts are. 965 people were shot by cops last, uh, last year and killed. 4% of them were white cops shooting unarmed blacks. In, in Chicago in 2011, 21... Is that true? Wow, I got to look that up. And, 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 and... Hold on, brother. What side are you on, brother? <laughs> what side are you on, brother? Huh? 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 So you're... Okay. So he must be Larry Elder. And he's convincing David Rubin that there is or that, that there isn't systemic racism. I'm confused. I thought David Rubin was already leaning toward that notion. Okay. Am I wrong? What about the Rubin report? Okay. All right. Okay. Let me just have a Coke and a smile and shut up. 4% of them were white cops shooting unarmed blacks. In, in Chicago in 2011, 21 people were shot and killed by cops. Uh, in 2015, there were seven. Uh, in Chicago, which is a third black, a third white, and a third Hispanic, 70% of the homicides are black on black. Uh, about 40 per month, almost 500 uh, in the, per year last year in Chicago, and 75% of them are unsolved. Where is the Black Lives Matter on that? The idea that a racist white cop uh, and shooting unarmed black people is a peril to black people is BS. It's yeah. complete and total BS. Wow, bro. Oh, I'm going to ask you one more time. Whose side are you on, brother? Huh? Sheesh, bro. And, and the reason for these so-called activists saying this is the assumption that racism remains a major problem in America. The media, CNN, especially MSNBC, runs down whenever a black cop shoots somebody, uh, and, it, and it's a, some, some march on Washington. It's ridiculous. So you're saying that we're blowing it way out of proportion. Is that what you're saying? I mean, I, here's, here's one thing. And when I ask these questions, I'm not trying to be facetious. First of all, I am serious when I say, brother, whose side are you on, brother? Because I very rarely see black men on this side right here saying, wait, 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 wait. So what do you mean systemic racism is, is, is a thing, man? Come on. Point out a point out a time. Point out a time when, when, when there was some blatant racism. Go ahead. Point out something. Anything. Name one thing. I don't know a black person who 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 would say that only because most times these is it's, <laughs> it's a mindset thing it's a class thing it's 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 until until something happens then when something happens it obviously it gets it gets um 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 somebody's yelling from a megaphone and you know get the magnifier glass on it and you know what I mean? It it blows up a bit. I got you on that. But again, I don't pay attention enough, but I do know as far as the what's what I've been hearing. And and if you look at the movies, look at the movies. When you look at the movies, you know, the white cops are always mad at the black people. So Sheesh, you, you're not about to change my mind, dang it. Somebody, uh, and, it, it, and it's a, some, some march on Washington. It's ridiculous. Uh, black people. That's true, though. There's always a march on Washington whenever there's injustice. And I say injustice because um, there's never a march on Washington whenever we killing our own. Like somebody could, people be dying like hell around um, certain neighborhoods, man. And, and we just call it culture. We call it culture, and then we, we, we add, we add, we, we, um, (sighs) 
We give them added benefits so that they can do it again. Because the people who do it the most, we make them so infamous and so famous in, in the process. I don't even want to talk about that, man. And it, and, it, and it's a, some some march on Washington. It's listen. ridiculous. Uh, black people, half the homicides in this country are committed by and against black people. Last year, there were 14,000 homicides. I'm not talking about suicides. I'm talking about homicides. Mm -hmm. um, half of them were black. 96% of them black on black of that 7,000. Where's the black, black Lives Matter people on that? So that, there's where you would say that this is purely because of social justice. This Pure, is purely, purely because, because they want ultimately for people to be angry enough to just keep voting Democrat. That's right. That, and that and where's right. where's the evidence of a lack of social justice? When a black uh, suspect is killed by by a cop, believe me, the media is on it. People are watching it, uh, and uh, and justice will will, for the most part, occur in Baltimore, where Freddie Gray was killed. Uh, Freddie Ray died in a van, I shouldn't say was killed, died in a van. Yeah. You have a city that's 45% uh, black, uh, city council is 100% Democrat, the majority of city council is black, the top cop at the time was, was black, the number two cop was black, the majority of the command staff is black, the, the mayor is black, uh, the AG is black, uh, and yet here we are talking about racism. I mean, it's, it's absurd. Yeah. It's absurd. So it's funny, I find myself caught in between this a little bit as a liberal where I want to... Me too, brother. I find myself caught in the middle of it as well. You always try to defend the other. So in this case, the other being black people, I, I'm always sympathetic to that. And that, uh, yeah, yeah, at the same time, I hear you laying out a pretty solid Well, case I, these are just the facts. I'll tell you something else, too. There was just a study, uh, uh, University of Washington, uh, and it turns out cops were more reluctant, more hesitant to pull the trigger against a black, black suspect than a white suspect. Uh, probably because of the fear of being accused of racially profiling and the fear that the civil rights establishment was going to come down on him. So if anything, uh, whites are more likely to be shot by a cop under, under certain circumstances than a, than, a, uh, than a black person. And in the last 30 or 40 years, the number... I definitely got to do my dang on research, bro, because I swear, here's the thing. Um, in order for you to fully understand my position in this, you have to understand where I'm, where I'm from, um, the mindset of most of the people who are from there who still have a great deal of family there, which I do as well. Um, and, and to see the constant pushback that, that I'm receiving for simply being in the path, on this path that I'm on right now. So I got uh, to proceed with a little bit of, you know, with a little bit of caution, with a little bit of, you know, extremely tactfully. And I'm trying to do it as objectively as possible. And I wish I can listen. If you're somebody who know me personally and, um, and you're seeing this and you're and you got questions as to why I'm not um, difficult on the people who are speaking against um, what we usually believe. Um, I don't really pay attention to this stuff. This is me learning right now. This is me hearing it from the first time. Um, um, not for the first time. This, this is me paying attention because I've heard it. This is me paying attention and actually saying whatever on, whatever's on my mind in real time. And it's extremely difficult on me. It's, I mean, it's, it's difficult for me to do this. It's not the easiest thing in the world at all. But I'm actually enjoying it. I'm not enjoying the pushback. I'm not enjoying the emails I'm receiving about me selling out the Twitter. Somebody just now posted on my Twitter page of me selling out. What the hell? Sell out? Like, I wanted to cuss at you, but because of monetization purposes, I'm not. But at the end of the day, man, it's, it's ridiculous. Also, if y'all like this style of content, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So the next time we post some content, you'll be first to be notified. Circumstances than a, than, a, uh, than a black person. And in the last 30 or 40 years, the number of percentage of suspects killed by cops who are black has declined 75 percent. However, the percentage of whites killed by cops has flatlined. Yeah. And so if anything, people are more concerned about shooting black people for fear that they're going to be called racist. And almost all, every one of these incidents, whether it's Eric Gardner in, in New York who died because he was selling Lucy's and resisted arrest, whether it's Tamir Rice in Cleveland who was twirling around the gun, whether it's Michael Brown in Ferguson uh, who had just uh, committed a ar strong arm robbery, almost every one of these incidents involves somebody resisting arrest. 
why don't you just do what the police tell you? My dad said, when I get pulled over, have my hand at 10 o'clock, have my hand at 2 o'clock, say yes, sir, say no, sir, make sure my paperwork is in order, and if I feel the cop is uh, mistreating me, get a badge number and deal with it later on. If Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and Obama and the whole group of them told black people to do that, we'd have a lot fewer of these things uh, to deal with in the first place. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm with you. Wow. I, I'm hearing a lot of what you're saying here. Now, what this sounds like to the black community is that he's holding black people accountable, but he's not holding white people accountable. Just so y'all know, that's what it sounds like to the black community. And when I say, when I say the black community, you're going to say um, pro probably, um, well, he's black. He's in the black community. I'm talking about the black community who still grow mustaches. Cause <laughs> that sounds crazy, but the black community who still wear mustaches, most of them don't. Uh, you know, they 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 think a different type of way. Like when Larry Elder back in the day probably had a mustache, he probably he probably felt another type of way. But <laughs> that's so dumb. But I'm serious. It is. If you look back in the day, people with mustaches live in the urban communities, and people with no mustaches they they're in corporate and they wear suits and they they adhere to different laws and they try to appease other people who we haven't been um we haven't like gotten those um um relationships yet because we're not in the class that they're in if that makes any sense at all so i'm i'm coming from a real point guys i i really am i really uh i'm i just it's just difficult to hear but i do understand and I understand. Deal with in the first place. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm with you. I, I'm hearing a lot of what you're saying here. So as a black conservative then, who now you've you've laid out your case there. But you haven't laid out yours. I, so, asked, I asked you to name the most important uh, example of racism, and you gave white cops going after black people. And I, and I told you, gave you the facts for that. So that's nonsense. So what, you must have something else. What else is it? If you think racism well, remains a problem in America, give it to well, me. Well, I think it remains a problem. Give it to it's me. Not, it's give it not, to me. It may not be systemic in that we have, it's not like you're not being hired because you're black. There's no systemic reason, you know, legal reason that that exists, that kind of thing. But I think that racism as a general uh, I need some, theory I need exists. Some, I need some specifics. You gave me the white cop thing. What else? Give me another example where you think is a problem. Well, well, uh, as a black conservative, tell me how do no, no, you, you how do you, you get people to you're, come around? You're, you're the one who yeah. made the assertion that you yeah. think racism remains a major problem in America. I asked you to give me an example. You gave me white cops going after blacks. I, as, as far as I'm concerned, you didn't hold it up very well. What's the other argument you have? <laughs> what, what's the other thing? Well, I don't know that it's. He said, as far as I'm concerned, you didn't hold it up very well. Sheesh, Larry, calm, calm down, bro. Sheesh. What about, what about slavery? Huh? What about that? <laughs> All right. Okay. Cern, you didn't hold it up very well. What's the other argument you have? What, what, what's the other thing? Well, I don't know that it's systemic in that, in the sort of macro sense. I'm not, I'm not I, mad. I just, yeah, I just no, want to no, no. know what, what it is you're, you're talking no, about. No, no, so I, can, that, that's we, we exactly what, that's, yeah. well, believe me, that's 100% so, what so I wanted to, what, what to have you What is it? Blacks here. are not getting into school? BS. We have a race, we have affirmative action. So a black person with, a, with an SAT and a GPA uh, of, of X will, will get into a school faster and easier than a white person with an SAT uh, or a GPA of X. And if going to, going to school is a route to the middle class, you can make an argument that blacks have an easier route to middle to the middle class if you're talking about uh, black uh, about poverty um, the poorer you are the more accessible loans and grants are for you uh, the, the 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 problem the, the biggest burden that black people have in my opinion again is the percentage of blacks 75 percent of them that are raised without fathers uh, and that has every other social or mothers negative consequences connected to it. Crime, uh, oh. not being uh, able to compete economically in the country, being more likely to be arrested, that's the number one problem facing the black community. And when I hear people tell me about systemic racism or unconscious racism, I always say, give me an example, and almost nobody can do it. So what about the school systems? Do the school systems have the same um, resources? Because I, um, I mean, that's, that's a real question. Do the school systems have the same resources? Um, in most black black communities versus white communities. And I only want answers from people who are objective, please, because I'm asking these questions and I, I really want to know the answers because most of you have done this type of research. Most of you are extremely well-versed when it comes to politics and whatnot. So if y'all have those answers, that'll be amazing. If you don't, yeah.
or unconscious racism. I always say, give me an example, and almost nobody can do it. So, so the family stuff. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll follow your logic there mm -hmm. on the family stuff. What what can actually be done about that then? I mean, what, because that's reverse, a, that's a big re reverse lift. the welfare state. Uh, in um, 1890, 1900, you look at census reports. A black kid, believe it or not, was slightly more likely to be born to a nuclear intact family than a white kid. Even during slavery, uh, a black kid was more likely to be born under a roof with his biological mother and biological father than today. What's happened is we launched this so-called war on poverty in the 60s, where literally Lyndon Johnson sent people walk, knocking on doors. I, I, I lived in the 60s, and people knocked on doors, apprising women of their availability to welfare, provided there was no man in the house. Uh, and we went from 25% of blacks being born outside of wedlock in 65 to 75% right now. And you look at how much money that we spent on welfare, uh, and the lines are parallel. It was a neutron bomb dropped on this country, not just in the black community, but on people in general. Uh, at one time, only about 5% of whites were born outside of wedlock. Now 25% of whites are born outside of wedlock. I was in college in 1970, and there was a report called the Moynihan Report, uh, the Negro Family, a Case for National Action. It was written by a liberal, by a man who became uh, a Democratic senator for the, from, from New York. And at the time, 25% of black kids were born outside of wedlock. He said, my God, this number is, is horrific. If we don't do something about it, it could get even higher. Well, fast forward, 25% of white kids are now born outside of wedlock. It is the number one problem in this country. And what we've done, in my opinion, is we've economically incentivized women to marry the government. And we've allowed men to abandon their financial and moral responsibility. And now we have this. So, I don't know how this make me feel, man. How does make me feel? I gotta go do my research. <laughs> I do, man. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this though in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. I don't know why in the world my <laughs> sound like my 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 speech is slurring a bit. Hopefully, I'm all right. <clears throat> Um, sorry about that. Yeah, um, please let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Um, and um, I look forward to seeing y'all next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Again, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate y'all. Um, thank y'all so much for clicking play, watching, and everything. And um, feel free to go over to the LFR Family Plus channel if you want to see more and more and more music and whatnot. Okay, that's pretty much all I have. Love y'all. Perpetrators, this 38 will be designated for all those that hate it like Jesse. Man, I'm contemplating your moves. You lose, now your hot, you gave me new moves. More dudes, now the top, you made the same rules. New